Welcome back to another episode of Daily Beard, which is daily indeed. Let me tell you today a quick story about astigmatism reduction, how to fix your astigmatism. It's a common question that comes up and a little bit of an, a surrounding tale of why you may want to be careful about what you're doing. First of all, people that are new starting out, they have astigmatism in their glasses, diopter, melange, melange. The space. I must have it. The space melange. <laughs> and they start going, okay, I'm just going to reduce this. Or can I reduce this? Or asking recurring questions in a Facebook group. Or emailing me a bunch of questions. What do I do if about cylinder reduction? What's about cylinder reduction? What do I do about cylinder reduction? And here's the short formula version of what you do with cylinder reduction. First, you don't mess with it. You figure out your differentials, right? You figure out if your differentials, if your differentials have some cylinder in it, you may be able to reduce up to one diopter of cylinder with a half diopter of spherical equivalent. Maybe, doesn't work for everybody, right? Lots more detail on that that I'm not gonna necessarily get into in a five minute video, but basically you wanna figure out, can I reduce somewhere between a half diopter of my cylinder and a full diopter of a cylinder? Full diopter being much more of a question mark, right? Half diopter, you can probably get rid of, substitute a quarter diopter of spherical, Somewhere in the range, right? Like individual experience varies somewhere thereabouts. You make that reduction in your differential and your close up only. You take a month or two or three, right? And then see on eye chart distance, as on a larger distance with your differential, with the reduced cylinder, whether you get directional blur, whether you get ghosting, whether you get double images. You check that when you start, you check that along the way and see if the a challenging distance, ghosting, double vision, directional blur is going away. If it's going away, then you can probably reduce your cylinder for your normalized for your distance correction as well. A little kind of an overview, right? Like you want to probably have two spherical reductions between every cylinder reduction. Again, this is just a general guideline, not a certainty that works for everybody. The important point here though, and the reason I'm including this in what's obviously just a quick five minute video is the thing that I say most often, or a couple of things I say most often. One, don't monkey with lenses. Do not make focal plane changes until you have a very good understanding of what you're doing. The biology does not like a bunch of changes. You make one targeted change that you know is the correct one, or you know at least per the general formulas is probably the right one. You make that change, you give your biology time to adopt, you realize you can't make too many of those changes in a row, or you shouldn't, that's why I say you make some spherical reductions in most cases, right? Understand yourself, you have to understand your biology, this is your own journey, of course. And then expand slowly from there. If you make jerky changes or you add too much strain to your formula by making too many reductions, then stuff's not gonna work well. I like get questions from people like, should this give me headaches? Should this that? No, none of those things should happen. The biggest thing people tend to miss, besides not using the search function, which is the main thing, there's the and myopia wiki, which is amazing, and you don't have to now don't have to dig through over a thousand posts anymore to find a bunch of answers. And then you can also use searching for, through the posts. You want to have a like putting the puzzle together first. You have to spread the puzzle out on the table. You don't just start grabbing random pieces and start to shove them together. You want to have understanding of what the whole picture is and all the pieces before you start taking an action. Common mistake, right? Like starting too soon, making too many changes, not using the search function. Number one issue, right? Like if you're in the Facebook group, if you're new, if you're just watching these videos, if you just joined the Facebook group, my biggest least favorite thing about all this stuff is the recurring questions that are just one search function away, right? Like you just type it in the search and there's a whole section on the side on astigmatism with lots of articles. Think of it as a puzzle that has many pieces. Understand the big picture first, have the puzzle out on the table and then start putting it together. The last step in your vision improvement through all the steps is actually changing doctors. It's not the first step. The first step is learning. And when people say, just give me the steps, go away to those people. Just go away. 
you have all the steps here. Before this resource existed, there were no steps. I get so many emails from people that the Bates method and this book and that book and the other thing, me included, because before all this, I tried other stuff that doesn't work, right? So you got all the steps here. If we put all these things together, yes, there's still some assembly required. You can also get courses. I don't know if I have those linked below. I should check on that probably. If you don't want to do this by yourself, you want to support Enmiopia with your money which we appreciate. We're working on a lot of stuff, really. Like, so if you want to support Emiopia, if you don't want to do it yourself, I put all the do-it-yourself resources out there so nobody has to spend money. If you want to support Emiopia in exchange, I give you as much organized toolness as possible. Some of it even includes support. So there is also that option, right? But either way, put it together first. Figure out what you're doing or spend money in a course, whatever. Last thing you do is make the changes, right? And also among the second to last thing you do is ask questions in the forum or in the Facebook group. Search first. If you searched and your question includes answers that you've already figured out and it's just another thing that you can't find anywhere, that's fine. But people that ask me, what should I do about astigmatism, bro? I remove them from the Facebook group immediately because you use the search function, right? So take away from this five minute daily beard is it's all very simple. It's all incredibly simple until you dig into the detail and you want to have a good smooth ish experience. Then you want to do a fair amount of research, use all the tools available. And then when you understand what you're doing, take action. That's it for this daily beard. It is of course daily for anybody who wants to comment on the fact or on the, the rumor that there wasn't one yesterday or the day before those weren't days. Only the days that there is daily beard are actual days. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave comments. I do sort of kind of unfortunately read comments. Uh, join us in the forum or the Facebook group or wherever you like for community stuff. And then see you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.